All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people in Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, all right, Staten Island, my home borough, Brooklyn. You know, this is going to be a relatively quick video, but I was watching First Take, and they were doing a topic in which Scottie Pippen made some statements about Kevin Durant and say how LeBron's a better overall player than him. He's a better team player than KD, and KD's just a great scorer and shooter. And KD took offense to that and fired back some shots at Scottie Pippen. You know, he brought up how the fact how in 1994 against the New York Knicks, Phil Jackson drew up a play for Tony Kukoc to take the game-winning shot. And Scotty felt disrespected by that, so he decided to sit, to sit on the bench and pile like a little bitch. <laughs> As we saw in the last dance. But, you know, it is what it is. But, so Scotty Pippen decided to fire back by saying probably one of the, look, I'm probably saying one of the dumbest things I've ever heard an NBA Hall of Famer state. Scott Pippen stated LeBron James won championships without any help. That is some stereotypical bronze sexual bullshit if I've ever heard it. LeBron won without help. Let's just, let's just like, are you serious, Scotty? Look, I know Scotty's been going through with the last couple of years, you know, the, the situation with his wife, Larsa, and, you know, his son passed away earlier this year, and. You know, he was very upset how he was portraying the last dance, even though it was ac even though it was completely accurate. But whatever, Scotty's been very Scotty's been going through it, and I think being out there in California, living in California, is not helping him. Like Scott, I think Scotty needs to get the hell out of California. He needs to go back to Arkansas or wherever the hell he's from. But are you like I was? While I was watching. I was like, right, Scotty, are you serious? Scotty, you you can't be serious. Let's just go over through some of LeBron's teammates in his championship runs. Obviously, you see here Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh is going into the Basketball Hall of Fame this year. And in fact, I did a video on it. Chris Bosh, the, the ceremony for the 2021 class, which includes Chris Webber, Ben Wallace, Paul Pierce, and Chris Bosh, they're going to have their ceremony in September. Chris Bosh is a Hall of Famer. Dwayne Wade will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. The same Dwayne Wade who won a championship before LeBron got there. As you can see, now I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, but he had Shaquille O'Neal. Look. And look, Shaq was very good throughout that season, but Shaq averaged 14 and 10 in that series. You know, it's productive, but it's not, but wasn't the same Shaq that was in the, we saw with the Lakers. He was averaging 36 and 17 and 33 and 13 with the Lakers. You know, against the Houston Rockets when he was with the Magic, he, he averaged like, I believe, what, 25 and 10 plus boards. That wasn't the same Shaq, okay? D Wade, meanwhile, aver was averaging 35 points. D Wade, you know, in, in game three, game three, and look, I did a video on D Wade's 06 postseason run. You can check it out on my channel. But D Wade won game three. He hit a bank, he hit a bank shot to give him a 98 96 lead and then blocked the Mavericks inbound attempt to win that game. And they were down 2 0. Then game five, he hit two clutch free throws to give him game five and a 3 2 lead. Then game six, you know, he dropped 36 points, got some steals and an assist, and they won game six in the championship. Okay? That, that did happen. That's a fact. Okay, so that's a second Hall of Famer. You know who else LeBron played with? Ray Allen. Now, of course, Ray Allen was past his prime when he got there. Okay, so that's definitely fair. But this is the same Ray Allen who hit the greatest shot in, in NBA Finals history. The greatest clutch shot, three-pointer in NBA Finals history. Okay, as Skip Bayless likes to say, he saved LeBron's bacon, which he did. The Spurs were up 3-2 going into this series. If Ray Allen missed this three, as you can see, it probably would bounce to Manu Ginobili or one of those Spurs players right there because Chris Bosh is away from the paint. He's away from the net. If Ray Allen missed that three, the Spurs get the rebound, foul. Let's just say they hit one out of two free throws, and they win 96-92 on Miami's floor. If Ray Allen missed that three, the series is over. He saved his bacon. Okay. That's what the heat. Now, let's get to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Whether Look, y'all can like this or not, Kevin Love is going to be a Hall of Famer. He has a championship. He's made multiple all-star teams. He's a career. I know he's a career. He has to be a career 20 and 10 guy. Kevin Love is going to be a Hall, a Hall of Famer. Kyrie Irving is going to be a Hall of Famer. Whether people like that or not. Especially if Kyrie gets a championship in Brooklyn. Of course, we all know they didn't win it this year. But next year, oh yeah, Kyrie's going to be a Hall of Famer. 
Anthony Davis. The year before AD got to the Lakers, the, they missed the playoffs. Now, y'all can say, oh, LeBron was hurt for most of that season. Well, LeBron came back. And when LeBron came back, they were a couple games out of the eighth seed. LeBron came back. He, quote, unquote, activated playoff mode, and they still miss, missed the playoffs and finished that year as the ninth seed, or the tenth seed. Anthony Davis gets there. Of course, season gets stopped because of COVID, and they win the championship by being a fifth seed Miami Heat team. Like, that, that's the truth. And that's not even to mention this guy right here, Rajon Rondo. Rajon Rondo, in my view, will be a Hall of Famer. He won a championship in Boston. He won a championship with the Lakers. He could potentially win a championship with the Clippers. And a lot of people forget, in the late 2000s, early 2010s, Rondo was looked at as the best point guard in the league. I mean, he was. It was him, it was Chris Paul, and then Derrick Rose exploded, and then Westbrook, and so on and so forth. But for a while, Rondo was going to be the best point guard in the league. And had the Celtics won that championship in 2010 against the Lakers, Rondo was going to be the finals MVP. Rajon Rondo, in my view, will be a Hall of Famer. So let's count them up. Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Ray Allen, Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis, Rajon Rondo. That's seven Hall of Famers. You want to disqualify Rondo? That's your business. But that's still six Hall of Famers. And this dude, Sky, is going to say, LeBron won championships without help. Are you serious? Okay, the key word is one. I know a lot of LeBron, LeBron sexuals are going to say, what about 07? What about, did he win the championship in 07? What about 2015? Did he win the championship in 2015? 2018 didn't have help. Yeah, and what happened? He got swept. Okay. And, okay. I would say, oh, we didn't have help. But don't, but don't say some dumb ass shit talking about LeBron won without any, any help. Are you serious? Now, if you want to go there, and we can talk about a player who didn't have any real help, honestly, we talk about Hakeem Olajuwon. I mean, Vernon Maxwell. I mean, look, these guys were good players. Vernon Maxwell, Kenny the Jet Smith, Robert Ory, Otis Thorpe, Mario Ellie. They were good players. They're not, they weren't all-stars or Hall of Famers. That second year, 95, he had Clyde Drexler. Clyde Drexler didn't make the all-star team, and Clyde was in his, I believe, early or mid-30s that year. That was his 13th season in the league. Okay, so, and Akeem Olajuwon was a sixth seed in 1995. So you don't want to talk about players winning championships with no help. Talk about Hakeem. Okay, again, those guys were very good players. They were coached by a, great, a Hall of Fame coach, Rudy Tomjanovich. So don't give me none of that shit LeBron won without help, Scotty Pippen. Scotty, get the hell out of California. I think being in Cali and, you know, you just, you just need to go to Arkansas, be out of the public eye for a while. Just get your thoughts together, bro, because you, like, really... LeBron won with that help. Man, bye. All right, I'm going to see y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section down below. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, and make sure you stay subscribed because YouTube can remove some subscribers from people's channels. Okay, I'm going to see y'all.